Which tracks are the worst in CTR? Let's find out! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here, and back with a bit of a different video. So, with CTR being out for a little bit now, and having put in an extensive amount of time into the game, I've played on every single track quite a few times. Now, most tracks are brilliant. Most of the courses that Naughty Dog did make transcended time and still feel great even with just a brand new coat of paint. Beanox also did a great job by taking Vicarious Vision's original Crash Nitro Kart tracks and adopting them to a Crash Team Racing experience. However, not all tracks are created equal. Most bring joy or competitive spirit, but some bring dread and just sheer annoyance. Those are the tracks that we're going to be covering today. These are the 5 worst tracks in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Before I begin, 90% of these tracks are not Beanox's fault because of the fact that this is a remake. They simply follow the blueprints of the original tracks. I'm also only talking about the tracks' physical design and not so much the artistic direction. So Beanox, if you're watching this, it's no way an attack on your work, but just more of an overall statement on the design of the tracks. Anyway, let's get into it. Whoa! Number 5. Barren Ruins. This is a bit of a mixed reaction on my part, but let me explain. I don't hate the track. It's a decent track overall, but it kind of lacks some of the splendor that the other tracks have. It is unique in the fact that a giant rolling stone can be activated by the player and just absolutely crush anyone who is behind you, but I feel that whole stage hangs on this one unique thing when it could have been something used throughout the entire level. I just think Vicarious Visions originally could have really done more with this in the original Crash Nitro Kart, and really play with the idea of having multiple boxes and multiple boulders dropping in and crushing people, but at the moment it's kind of just a bland track overall. Whoa! Number 4, Meteor Gorge. Again, I don't hate this track, it's an alright track, that's why it's at number 4, but the overall design is just really bland. I mean, this track is from the same game that has portals that you can warp through and crazy jumps that makes your hair stand. But when you see this track, it's just not really exciting. I mean, when I see most of the other tracks that Beanox has made, it makes me excited to play on just about any of them. But when this one pops up, it just feels underwhelming to me. Like I said, I don't hate this track, it just doesn't stand out like the others. Whoa! Number 3. Inferno Island. This is when the hate begins to seep in. Inferno Island is such a drag when it's picked. It's a longer and more boring Crash Cove. I mean, you even have the small hop shortcut that cuts back onto the regular track, and the alternate route close to the end of the track that no one takes because it's not actually good. It's even on a beach as well. Beanox did a great job in terms of artistic design to try to have the track stand out on its own, but the actual physical design itself has nothing to save it. I get you could argue that there are tracks like Coco Park, but they are short in time and kinda narrow, so it allows for some chaos. But Inferno Island is wide, long, dull, and ultimately just a more boring Crash Cove. Whoa! Number 2. Turbo Track. See, this track isn't terrible, at first. It's chaotic and wicked fast. What could go wrong? This part. This part of the track is just awful. It's literally the speed killer on a track that you're supposed to be going top speed on. Imagine if you're playing Electron Avenue on the boost pad here and all of a sudden a solid brick wall just appears and destroys you and your cart and, you know, your existence. That is what playing on this track feels like. On top of that, when playing online, people just love to fill this area with items like booby traps from Home Alone. It's great, I tell ya. Mmm, fantastic. Oh. Number one, Dragon Mines. This track. 
whoever designed this track at Naughty Dog, I gotta ask, who hurt you? Who caused you to become the way you are today? What monster made you design this track? This map is absolutely horrid to race on. Yes, the design that Binox did was amazing, don't get me wrong, but the track itself is just a pain in the neck to race on. You got annoying pillars, trolley carts trying to crush you in every direction, but worst of all, the notorious corkscrew turn. This turn takes all your nice speed that you have just been able to charge up all race and kill it in a matter of seconds. The only way to be able to not lose on this map is learning the tech move U-Turn, but even with this move, you can still lose all that nice speed. Not to mention, when I asked on Twitter which map you guys hated the most, this one came up more than any others, so I'm not alone here. That's all the time I have for today, but make sure to subscribe for when I talk about my top 5 favorite tracks, along with other nostalgic content. By the way, a huge shout out to my Patreons and sponsors on the channel. I appreciate your support and letting me be able to do this full time as I got a family to feed. If you want to support the channel, the Patreon is in the description below. And be sure to subscribe for more nostalgic content. And while you're at it, why not check out another video I recently made. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.